Well, hello. What I'm going to do today is a quick overview of this LH Star Fit Watch. I'm actually wearing the watch now, and I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks, and I do quite like it. I'm not a big watch wearer, but I quite enjoyed using this. I'll take it off in a minute and go through some of the functions that are on the watch, and we'll also have a look at the app. Let's have a quick look at the box it came in. As you can see, it says heart rate monitor, multi-sport mode, sleep monitor, SMS alerts. This one is in black. It says heart rate monitor, fitness tracker. So heart rate monitor, multi-sport mode, choose running, cycling, skipping, table tennis, badminton and tennis. A sleep monitor. It's also got message reminders on and you can get messages from various social networks on this and it's quite useful. So let's have a look at what actually comes in the box. So you do get the watch, this particular watch, and the charging device. So those two pins on the charging unit that you can see there, they need to slot into there. So when you charge it up, you slot those two pins into there. It's a little bit fiddly, just like that. And then you plug that into any USB port. You'll know when it's charging up because the watch will vibrate. And then there are some cards and things in the box. So it's asking for a review. So <laughs> there's a good luck giveaway card in here. And the first prize is to get one more free watch, which they have duly provided, which I'm quite impressed by. So I'm going to do this one as a giveaway. So listen out for details at the end and I'll tell you how you can get this watch. There's an instruction manual, a little bit pidgin English, but it does okay, you can work your way through it. And there's a contact and warranty guarantee card. So let's have a look at the watch and show, show you how easy it is to use. So if we flip it on, it comes up with 11.59, you can see the battery indicator up there, and there are the distance you've walked, the number of steps, and the number of calories you've burned, and that little symbol in the top right hand corner tells you whether the watch is connected to your phone or not. I have this set to switch off after around 15 seconds. Now if I press and hold this, it will actually change the format of the screen and there are three different options you can choose from. So you can have more of an analog style. I find that a little bit hard to read. And so my preferred one is that style. Let's flip through the functions. It isn't touch screen per se. You just dab that little kind of like a phone button at the bottom. So, so far today, I've done 1,551 steps. Roughly 0.6 miles. Burned 54 calories. That's the heart rate monitor. If I wanted to do a test while it's on my wrist, I press and hold here. Then if you press and hold here, this is the message function. Training. So this, if I press and hold here, you can scroll through the different options. Running, cycling, skipping, table tennis, badminton, tennis, back to training. If I press and hold on the training button, and then press running and hold. It will then count down and then you're off. It's actually recording a training session and that's the same for all of the sessions. Press and hold to stop. Press and hold the function. It'll give you a stopwatch. Press and uh, hold again and it will take you into the stopwatch. You can change the screen brightness. The find, we've just done. And then you can also reset everything too. Info, press and hold on the info tab and it just tells you what the version is of the firmware etc. Press and hold again and then you can actually turn the thing off by pressing and holding. And then we're back to the main screen. It is actually quite clear from the instructions what it does and it is really easy to to work out. I don't think you'll have any problems with that. What we'll have a look at next is the app. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got FlagFit, that's the app. In the app, as you can see, it's got your step counter, got your sports activated mode, how many steps you've done, your treat, sleep tracker, and then your heartbeat monitor. There are three options at the bottom, home, smart, and me. Let's tap on smart. And this gives you all the options for controlling the watch within the app. Call reminder, if you want the watch to let you know when you've got a phone call, you turn that on, which is a really simple case of turn on, tap it, turn off. 
SMS reminder is the same, turn off, turn on. So that lets your watch tell you if you've got calls and SMS messages. If you tap on here, you can select various options, social media options. That's if you tap more. You can reject a call with the key. Now, in all fairness, I actually haven't had that working yet, uh, the reject call with key. On screen time, this is the setting I was telling you, where you can change it to have it for 10 seconds or five seconds. Just press confirm. Find the bracelet. If you've lost your watch, you can get this to vibrate. You can probably hear the watch vibrating. Bracelet looking for mobile phone. That you just need to turn that on. So that's so that you can use your watch to find the phone. Sedentary reminders. If you have one of those jobs where you are sat for a while, you can turn on the sedentary reminder so it lets you know when you've been still for too long. Raise hand to activate display. Now I find switching this off prolongs the battery life. The claim is that this battery will last for 30 days. I think that's a bit dubious. When I first started wearing it, I had the heart rate monitor set for every hour and the raise hand to activate the display on. Because of the nature of my work, I use my hands a lot, so it was forever turning itself on. So I found by switching that off and lowering the heart rate monitoring, the battery is lasting a lot longer. The last time I charged it was over a week ago and it's only used one notch on the battery out of the four, so I think it will last well. You just have to minimize some of the processes. Anti-lost function. This lets you know if it's got too far away, if, if there's a break in the connection between the watch and the phone. Shake to take picture. There is a photo feature on here where you can shake the watch and it will take a picture using your phone. Heart rate monitoring. These are obviously the things that we really want to use these for. So you can change this for every one hour, every two hours, six hours and 12 hours. As I said previously, I did have it set every hour. It was using the battery a lot more, so I changed it to two hours. Do not disturb, you can set it so that it won't vibrate. I've set mine between the hours of 11 o'clock at night and 6.15 in the morning. You won't get any notifications or anything. Device language, that's quite obvious. Then there's a smart alarm clock where you can set it to vibrate on your wrist at whatever time you set. Some personal details where you can set your own sports goals. That tells you whether the watch is bound to your phone or not. And as you can see, the battery life on the watch is still really good and then there's the background activity permissions and so on which just allows the watch to access and the app to access various features on the phone so let's have a quick look at these if i go into the step counter by pressing on step counter i can go back see what i did the other day through previous days i can check what i've done over a month as you can see i haven't had this long over a week that's all the uh, things I've done exercise wise I haven't actually registered any of these because I've heard barely used it I've only really used it for walking and tracking my steps sleep monitor if I tap this you've got deep light and awake you can track it by days weeks months see how you've gone on yesterday shows you what deep sleep you've had what light sleep you've had and when you were awake and it seems to be quite accurate and then there's your heart rate monitor where it tracks what your heart rate has been throughout the day and so on so all in all I think it's a pretty good device and I do actually quite like it so what I'm going to do is the one that came free, I'm going to do a giveaway. All you have to do to win this is leave a comment in the comments on this video and that will let me know that you want it and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed then I won't include your name in the draw. When there's 100 to 150 names in the list I will pick one out and I will let you know that you've won and all you have to do then is email me your name and address and I will send this off to you. That's it. So thank you for, for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.